Well, good morning, lovely ladies and gentlemen. Steve Collins coming to you from gorgeous, chilly San Antonio, Texas. The second most powerful, passionate, purposeful coach and speaker in the world. All right, all right, all right. December, hmm, not too far from Christmas. There are predictable patterns in life that we can utilize in order to prepare for when these seasons come around again. You know, we're never shocked when summer comes around. We're never shocked when winter comes around. We're never in awe that spring showed up or fall showed up at any given time of the year. We're never shocked by that because you see in the natural, if you will, we understand seasons. We understand there are seasons and seasonality. What I want to share with you this morning is that if you are perceptive and will take the time to follow and observe, there are seasons in your life just like there are seasons in the earth. We go through seasons of plenty, we go through seasons of struggle, we go through seasons of victory, and we go through seasons of defeat. We go through seasons where we're on top of the world, and we go through seasons where we feel the world is on top of us. And one pattern is certain, and that it is typically children who experience this time of year extremely different than responsible adulting adults experience this time of the year. This time of the year for many people brings a lot of pain and suffering. Many people feel stuck. They feel down. They feel like they're strudging and grudging through slime and walking through mud, looking for the motivation to move forward, attempting to figure out how they're going to do what they want to do how they're going to give what they want to give. Let me just insert a little bonus in here that I didn't plan on sharing, and yet I sense it very strongly that you need to hear it, and it's simply this. People who have a problem with abundant finances in judging other people or not understanding that, let me ask you this question. Do you think we would have as much suffering and pain and hurting and stress if the average person had more than they needed for themselves and their family so that they had to know, not worry at all about what they would choose to maybe get other people at Christmas time if they celebrate that. I mean, if people had enough income to be able to, without thinking about it, just go, you know, I'd like to get this for Uncle Bobby. I'd like to get that for Aunt Susie. I'd like to get this for Cousin Joey. I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that. Or for your husband or wife or for your kids. If you had enough finances and resources available to do that, do you think there'd be a little less stress this time of the year? Mm, I'm going to argue that, yeah, that actually that's exactly what would happen if there was enough finances, then it wouldn't be as stressful. So that's a mini little case, mini little soapbox I'm building for living in abundance living in abundance. You were not created to fail financially, okay? You were created to live in abundance in all areas of your life. All areas of your life, you were created by a master plan to succeed and to enjoy. Now, this isn't a prosperity message. This is a message of abundance, having all that you need to do all that's in your heart to do. If you don't have enough to do what's in your heart to do, then you're not there. So you tell me what's worse, having an abundance and having people judging you while you're blessing others or having a lack and being down, depressed, broken and hurting. Only you can decide. Either way, there's going to be a little pain. You decide what you want to hear. I love what Tony Robbins said one time. He says, money doesn't fix your problems at all. It just lets you show up to your problems in a limo if you choose to. The problems are still there. In fact, they are greater the greater the income comes. The greater the blessing, the greater the conflict. So let's just have a quick conversation around what I would like to share with you this morning. Are you stuck? Are you, are you down? Are you hurting? Are you experiencing what a lot of people experience this time of the year? I'm going to give you a secret weapon. Uh, that Angela and I have been utilizing for most of our 24 years in our marriage. In fact, the very first night that we spent time together talking all night long and visiting and sharing our vision for the future, uh, for making a difference in people's lives, for working together to change people's lives, to have a big family, to be successful enough to be able to provide for others and create opportunities for others and build people's lives. There was one common theme 
that bound our hearts together more than anything else at that time and in that season and still to this day. And that secret weapon for you and for us is this. Music. Music. Well, now, Steve, I feel kind of ripped off because I've already watched three minutes of your boring video and I'm waiting for the secret weapon and you telling me it's music that ain't stupid. I feel you. I feel you. And that's okay, sister. You can shut it off right now because I'm about to get good and deep right here and to help you out. How many of you are old enough to remember watching the original Rocky? The original Rocky. Now, this may apply more to guys than to gals. The original Rocky. How many of you guys still, when you hear that song, Dun, 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 when you hear that, it does something to you. How many of you guys, when Rocky came out, decided, I'm going to get big and buff and lift weights? That's what I'm going to do. Music is powerful. I cannot begin to explain in this short drive to the office the power behind music to move your soul into a different state a different place of being, a different experience. Now you see your circumstances might not change during a song. Your state will change. Your heart will change. Your mind will change. Your feeling will change. You tell me what's better. A multimillionaire with like $50 million in the bank who feels broken, hurting, lonely, depressed, and suicidal or a person struggling living paycheck to paycheck who feels happy, grateful, joyful, full of life, full of hope and knowing opportunity is around the corner at any time. You tell me who you think you would rather be in that scenario. You see, money is not the answer. It doesn't change you, it amplifies who you are. If you are depressed, down, broken, and stuck right now, you gotta be real careful because you might just get a whole lot more of that unless you are already working on gratitude and gratefulness and thankfulness and positivity in your outlook on life and how you approach yourself and other people. So I want to help you understand this. If you can agree with me that the state of mind you're in and the attitude that you possess has a huge impact on how you show up every day in life, could it be, my friend, could it be that you could take the wisdom of this little nugget and learn to change your life through the practical application of determining which songs or music cause you to feel a certain way. You know, there's a reason why if you're a fan of the UFC or boxing or you've noticed some different sports game, there's a reason the athletes come into the ring to a certain song. There's a reason they walk down to a certain song. It's because it means something to them. It puts them in a state. It activates something inside of them that puts them in a different frame of mind and frame of spirit that places them in a champion mindset that gives them a little bit extra push to go through. Could it be that you could learn from this? Do you know the NFL has that? You know what I'm talking about. You want to see a guy get jacked up? You want to see a guy get jacked up? You let me walk up behind him and play that NFL theme song super loud if he's a sports fan. Dude, the veins in his head bulge out and he's like, ah! Don't even know why. You have the power to choose what you are going to listen to, to move your soul to a place of action and a place of victory, a place of anticipation, a place of hope. Music can move your soul if you will use it to your benefit. If you're feeling down, you don't want to play the open don't listen to that crap. That'll keep you down. If you want to change, if you want to move forward, if you want to get jacked up, lit up, and change your state, use some wisdom and think about the music that you listen to. What are you intentionally listening to that you could make the theme song of your life during this season? Now, I have seven kids. I have six at home, four are teenagers. 
a couple are the greatest coaches in my life because they expose my weaknesses that I didn't realize were there and they cause me to lead differently and think differently. They're challenging more than anybody have challenged me in my whole life. Very, very growth opportunity uh, situation raising four teenagers. So when I end this video, I'm gonna post the song that I listen to. The song that got Angela through a dark season in our marriage where I was just stupid, hurting, and angry. I was just angry. I, you know, I couldn't even put my finger on it. I was angry, probably just angry with me more than anything else, and it manifested. And this song got her through that season until I changed. And this song is getting me through my season with the teenagers in the house. And I'm gonna post it on here. I'm gonna post it on here with a video. And if you have a chance to get alone and listen to it, I hope it means something to you. So let me just wrap up with this. Use the power of music to get you in a state that will allow you to show up in your life differently. You can change your state. I know that some of you that are my age, come on, you could be having a good old time doing anything and somehow some fool at work changed the station and now you got Journey. Now you got Journey on. You know what happens to you when you hear Journey, right? She took a one-way train going anywhere. You know you wanna just like, you know, wave your, oh, come on, don't, don't anybody lie to me. You know it can change your state in a moment. Take this wisdom, think about what you need to be listening to, and dadgummit, play it on a loop if you need to, to get where you need to go. It's one key out of many that will help you get through the season and help you get unstuck. Have a great day, guys.